if you if you look at it, you can mull over it a little bit. I'll I'll, I'll have the answer later. But um, if anybody wants to take a shot at it now. Yeah? Um, well, yeah, I, g I guess you guys don't like dynamic memory allocation, but uh, but that's that's okay. I mean, we're we're allocating a pointer d to the heap, uh, and we're storing it in the in a in a s automatic variable, but then we return a copy of that pointer, and so because the pointer is into the heap. Uh, I don't see a problem with that. Well, it can it can return no, but but that's presumed to be the, you know, the signature for the function, right? The contract for the function. If if it can't return the memory, it returns no. Okay, so none of those things. Um. Oh, this is this is C. Well, C ninety nine and later lets you declare, yeah, which is a, which is kind of a nice thing, really, because you can you can also have uh, you know like uh, variables declared inside the, like the for loop, so you can say for you know int i and declare it locally there. Um, okay, so think about that a bit. I'll I'll tell you the. Fan, any, anyone know it? Okay, so. Um, Yeah. Okay. Well, you need to know how. <laughs> yeah, you're warm. Yeah. Okay. So let me. I'll give you the answer. Um, okay. So we're passing. So this is a very typical signature for a uh, function that takes a string, right? Because uh, because strings are implemented as arrays, and, and when you pass an array to a function, there's no way to know the size of the array. Uh, you know, any any array you pass decays to a pointer to the first element, right? So you don't know the size, so you always have to provide a size. And the correct and appropriate way to specify a size in C and C++ is a size t. Okay, so size t is an unsigned type that corresponds to the size of the address space. So on a 32-bit architecture, that would be 32-bit unsigned, and on 64-bit architecture, it would be 64-bit unsigned. Uh, the other thing that people do wrong very consistently is uh, they s they declare all their integers as int, you know, int, 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 int. Int is almost always the, well, that's, that's extreme. Frequently int is the wrong type to use. Uh, so you have to give some thought to it. So the correct way to implement this code is with a size t. Uh, now the problem with this code is implemented is, uh, it, let's say size t is a 32-bit unsigned type and int is a 32-bit uh, signed type. So the int has you know, roughly half the range, right? So here, we're going to increment i. Uh, now, if n is greater than int max, right, what will happen is uh, i will reach the most positive value uh, but still be less than n because it gets converted to an unsigned type for the comparison. Uh, and then it's going to typically wrap around, right, and become a, the most negative value. Uh, so it's still less than n, <laughs> so it'll keep going. But at the same time, this negative i is now going to be used to index this array. And you're going to start writing to a very random place in memory for a very long time. Uh, and so this is a buffer overflow. Uh, you know, and this is, this is as bad a, a buffer overflow as you can have. And, um, you know, you guys didn't see it. <laughs> um, so, you know, we, uh, we got to get better at this. And, and it's not, um, unfortunately, you know, the burden is on the developers. 